Hey, welcome back to another episode of 501 BBQ. I'm Brian Robinson. Kelsey is at work, so I've got y'all on a little clamp there with the GoPro. But today, I'm gonna show y'all how we clean up the Brio fire pit. Got a kid playing outside, so bear with the background noise there. But we cooked on this thing yesterday. We did a rotisserie pork loin that turned out amazing. I'll show y'all a little clip of that right here cooked about two hours long be looking for that in a future video but as you can see the brio's kind of wet it rained last night this thing still had coals in it whenever i went to bed so i didn't want to put my cover on so now we have wet ash in the bottom of the fire pit so the things i use to clean this up is just kind of a little scoop with a hook i kind of use these with my smokers that i have We've also got the ash scoop from Brio. Pair of gloves, any kind of gloves will do. And then we have a bag of Thrifty Sorb, just absorbent, kind of like an old dry. I use this in the bottom of my drum smokers that catches any grease. So we are gonna use this to kind of soak up some of that moisture. So let me change this camera angle and I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, so as you can tell, this ash is kind of got the little mud thing going on. So that's why we're going to use this Thrifty Sorb. I get this at O'Reilly. It is grill safe. So all we're going to do is come in here. Don't be shy with it. Going to cover every part of it, and this is going to kind of just help soak up a lot of that moisture where it's easier to clean out and you don't have that muddy stuff that everybody's probably seen in the bottom of their fire pit at one time or the other. I like to use my hands, that's why I say gloves. So, all I'm going to do is just kind of start working this around. And then where it looks like there's a lot more moisture, we're just gonna hit it again. All right, that looks good right there. So what I'm gonna do now is just kind of let this set a few minutes, let it do its thing, start absorbing some of the moisture. And so I'll come back to y'all here in probably about five minutes. All right, this has been in here right at about five minutes. So I've just got me a five gallon bucket that I'm going to put all these ashes in. You can put it in whatever you want, but I'm just going to take the little Brio tool. I'm going to kind of just start shoveling it around real quick. So I can tell it's starting to dry it up already. So over here is the wettest and that is where the drain hole is. So that makes sense that more of the water is gonna be over there. So I'm just gonna take some of this that's kinda still a little dry and work it around over here. We can't light it, we're cleaning it. He brought me the lighter. He loves it when this thing's fired up. Okay, so I don't know how good y'all can tell from the camera, but this stuff has dried up a lot. I mean, it's kind of starting to clump up. So now all I do is just start getting everything out, put it in my bucket here. This little tool from Brio is pretty handy. Gets up in all them corners a little easier than 
other things. But once you get it almost all the way cleaned out, it's still kind of tough to get everything out. Didn't want to bore y'all with watching me scoop all this out, but as you can see, I am about done with it, and the bottom looks good for being wet. And so that old dry does the trick. So after I get everything completely out, I'm gonna go ahead and put just a light layer of that old dry in here and just let it stay. That way, any other moisture that's in here, it's gonna grab that. All right, I'm gonna call that good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take just a little more of this and just kind of spread it around. Make sure you get right around the edge because it's hard to get everything out right there. And before I start a fire, I'll just clean this back out. You'd probably actually be able to leave it in there, but I'm gonna clean it out anyway. Uh, if you got grills, uh, I use them in my drum smokers a lot. You can put it under your fire basket and any drippings that go down to the bottom, this will soak them up where you don't have as big of a mess in the fire pit or in the smoker, I guess, or in your fire pit. All right, this was a short little impromptu video. I was fixing to clean this thing, so I figure I might as well grab the camera and maybe it'll help somebody out. The old dry really helps, so give that a try. So now since this is in here, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of clean off the rim, just wipe it off and get my cover back on. So subscribe to the channel. We've been doing a lot of stuff with the Brio and we got a lot of stuff coming forward. We've already got some stuff filmed that I gotta get edited out get sent out to you guys so hit that subscribe button follow along y'all have a good day